More than 150 Cleveland County homeowners file a lawsuit aiming to stop the construction of new turnpikes through the Norman area. Our Colby Thielen joins us with details on this lawsuit and how the state is responding. What would you learn? Hey, good morning, guys. Well, the suit claims the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority violated state transparency laws leading up to unveiling the Access Oklahoma plan. You'll recall back on February 22nd, the governor announced the plan, which proposed two new turnpikes through Cleveland County. At the center of the lawsuit, the Open Meetings Act. It claims OTA violated it by not discussing the plans while they were being drafted. Attorney Stan Ward brought that suit. He and his wife live in the proposed line of construction for a new turnpike and fear the state may try to take their home through eminent domain. Everyone is in this suit as a castle to protect. They did not tell we the people exactly the nature of business that they were going to conduct. Jessica Brown with the State Transportation Cabinet, which oversees OTA, says that isn't true. In fact, she says the Access Oklahoma plan was first discussed in the board's December meeting. She says that they've been transparent, they believe, and have offered information. The amount of information they offer, she says, is early in this process because it is a 15-year-long program. Now, recordings of that December meeting show officials did discuss long-term plans and the priorities, but not the specific routes. It seems that that's what's at issue. Ward is asking a Cleveland County judge now to effectively reverse the actions of the OTA board. We'll be following Colby Thielen, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.